Stop it, Simba. H-B. Alright, what's going on y'all? Good morning. Hopefully y'all having a good day. Good start to your day. Work's going good for y'all. I'm actually starting my work day right now. Freaking pouring rain in this morning. But gotta do what we gotta do. Y'all know we in the cat no matter what. I'm surprised. Today was uh the first day that I actually like poured really bad. And um a lot of people talk bad about the stock Pirellis in the rain, but they've been they've been good for me, man. I feel like people just want something to complain about, man. But they've been working great for me this morning. I mean, I've been doing 50, 60, and just the pouring rain, pouring rain, and no problems. And y'all know my tires are pretty much done because I get no traction whatsoever out of them. But anyway, that's not what the video is about today. Y'all know that I obviously I drive a 2020 Dodge Charger Hellcat. Uh, I love Mopar vehicles, but I am not Mopar biased. I love any manufacturer. I love any car. Uh, it's just it's just beautiful pieces of art, man. I love anything that's just appeals to the eye, you know? Like, I respect all power. I respect all builds. Any brand or manufacturer, man. I just, I respect all cars. But y'all know that BMW is, if I had to do like a top three uh, favorite cars, it would de or favorite brands and cars it would be def dodge is one bmw is second and i would do lamborghini as my third so yeah, i really don't care for any other brands i do like the cars but when it comes to like purchasing one i really i really don't care that much for them but those three brands so if y'all clicked on this video today man it's about the 2021 bmw m3 the new fully redesigned m3 right so y'all know I'm always, when it comes to me, if y'all follow my channel and anybody can vouch for me that pretty much hit me up on my email, Instagram, whatever. When y'all come to my channel, I pretty much want to get help people get deals. I give you guys the numbers. I let you guys know what's pretty much if the numbers are right or wrong. There's a plenty of other sites that will let you know, but people just don't know those sites and how to research them, right? So I get asked a lot, how do you get your deal, yada, yada. What do I need to look for in the numbers? And there's been... I, for me, I've been getting good traffic in my email and my Instagram with uh, helping people out. Um, just trying to see if the dealers are uh, giving them the right numbers, trying to get them out of their money, yada yada, right? So, when it comes to this video, right? The brand new 2021 BMW M3. I already found y'all a deal and the car's not even out yet. How y'all like that, man? A deal off the car without even going to the dealership, worrying about it, trying to talk them down. Uh, playing the back and forth game in the emails or calling or text messages with the with the salesman and lying to you about the numbers yada yada right I already found you a deal to get past all of that get you right into an M3 right when they drop without all the hassle arguing back and forth emailing a hundred different dealerships to see if they're gonna get you the best deal so check this out 2021 BMW M3 right five so for the people who lease them this is for a lease deal only. I'm pretty sure he can hook you up on a deal with a buy as well. But I'm, for what I, for what I seen, it's only for leasing right now, right? So five percent off MSRP right now already. You haven't even seen the car yet, and five percent off, five percent off MSRP already. So that's five percent discount off of whatever the car build is already, without even seeing a car, without even touching the dealer lots yet. Five percent off. Now, if you want that deal, that deal does require a couple things. That deal does require a uh, pre-approval credit. Obviously, you have to be tier one for that. I think it's a three thousand dollar deposit down. I will include the the sheet in the video so y'all can see everything that's required. That does re that does include a three thousand dollar deposit. Um, and I think there was a couple other things too. Obviously, you have to wait for the car to get there as well. But 
for the car not even to be in the dealer lots yet, right? Not even on BMW's website. They have a they have a portion of it where it just shows, hey, the all new, but you can't go in and build it or anything. For that not to be even on the website to build or at a dealer lot on the on the on the dealer lot yet, five percent off MSRP is huge already. Obviously, five percent isn't crazy overall, but for a car that's not even on the lot yet and out. 5% is good, you know, for you, you that you already starting at 5% discount before even going to a dealer like, hey, listen, I, I this guy got me this deal for this such and such. What can you do? Can you beat this deal? I'll buy the car from you. That's kind of how I play. That's kind of how I go about it. And I'll play, play along with the dealerships to see who want to play ball. Take that 5% deal. Even if you don't want to go around and uh, mess around with the dealers, take that 5% deal and just just be happy with that. I mean, brand new car. Nobody else is going to have it except for you and probably maybe 10 or 20 other people, right? And that's not even going to be in the same state. Why not be the first one to jump on it just to just to have it, right? 5% off MSRP. And that, again, that is for a lease. So if you want to buy, I don't know about the buying options, but I'm going to put the link in. I believe his name is Bacon, Bacon of BMW on Lease Hacker. So if, y'all go, if you guys are serious Make sure y'all hit him up. He has all his um his how tos and what to do right on his page. It's literally the first the first thing you see once you click his link. It tells you, hey, uh, B uh, 2021 BMW M3s, uh, 3K deposit. That is based on pre approval. Yada yada, such and such, right? So make if y'all want that deal, I found that deal for y'all, and I'm I'm gonna make sure I throw this video up today. So that y'all can pretty much get a hold of him and get y'all deposited in ASAP so y'all can get y'all car. Because I'm pretty sure they're probably going to be, it's the first wave of them probably going to be limited. Obviously, they're not going to be like limited, limited. But the first wave of them probably going to be so many that people going to take them all up. Because a lot of people have been waiting on it. A lot of people have been waiting on it and don't like it. A lot of people have been waiting on it and kind of kind of like uh, in the middle because of the new front grill. Which is, the front grill is kind of ugly. I'm not going to lie. But I feel like that's one of those things where you got to see in person to to, to learn to love it. Because I think it doesn't look that bad, but at certain angles, it looks terrible. Uh, actually, I'm going to throw a couple pictures up right here for y'all. So, as y'all can see, like from this angle, it looks really good. But if you switch it to another angle, it just looks, it, it doesn't look real. It doesn't look good at all, man. Like, I don't know what they were thinking with that huge grill. But like I said, it's one of those things where you got to see you got to see in person, man, and see if you really like it. You got to see, you got to see if it's something you gonna you could learn to live with, or actually, me, you might actually like it once you see the purpose person. Because photos never do a car justice. I, that's the one thing I hate about watching the um, a release live because it's not it's not the same as looking at it with your bare eyes. You know what I'm saying like in person, it's. it's it will never be the same for, I don't care what what car it is. It don't even gotta be a car. It could be anything, a house, furniture, sneakers, anything. Like it never looks the same as it will when you see it in person. Because nine times out of 10, it will look better in person. Or nine times out of 10, it won't look as good as it did in the photos. Like that's how it is, man. Especially when I went to like, when, me, when we went but like house shopping and stuff, when you go see it in person, sometimes it looks better. Sometimes it doesn't look anything like the photo. So when y'all see this brand new car, man, make sure y'all just go give it a chance. Go look at it. See, look at it from different angles, how how bad it looks, how good it's going to look. Depending on, the, I feel like sometimes with the color too, right? Depending on the color that you pick on that car, it makes the grill look a little better. And some colors that you pick on, it makes it look worse as well. So it all depends on kind of like what you're going for. If you like it, if you like the design right off the back, then you might like it in person too. Me, me, I like it and don't like it. I'm kind of like a, I'm in between on it because like I like it because it's different. Then again, I don't like it because it just didn't need to be that massive. Like why did y'all need to put that big old massive uh, grill on there? Like that was just, for me, I thought that was unnecessary to have that big, grill on her like that that's just it wasn't necessary but maybe it wasn't necessary for airflow stuff like that which i understand it, car cars are really big on performance now they want to get the maximum airflow 
to improve the numbers on the car right so maybe that's why they did the grill like that i would i would assume so they wouldn't just do that and thinking that that was a nice design because it's really not but let me know if y'all think this video was worth watching y'all because i want to see that car come right off the truck honestly i'm gonna go to my bmw dealership soon and i'm gonna just ask them hopefully they cool about it and let them let them know to can they call or text me when they car when they get that car on the truck and it's on the way so i want to get that car on the channel man at least uh, taking delivery of it because i want to see it in myself in person because y'all know I, again i don't gotta i don't gotta reiterate this but bmw is one of my favorite brands as well other than dodge and lamborghini those are my that's one of my favorite brands and to see the new m3 i feel like i'm a i'm a m3 and a like m3s and m5s are my favorite m's of all time doesn't matter what year i love just the shape and the body of both of them so that's literally the mixture between like that that nice sleek small um quick fast and nimble car and then you got the bigger more powerful v8 with a lot more sound and noise to it that's what i like man so that's why I love the threes and the fives. Those are my two favorites. All the other ones I really don't care for. I'm I like the X. I like the X the uh X M series too sometimes. It just depends on the build. Like the uh XM the X5M is nice. The X uh 6M is nice. I like the X 3M, but it's got like a weird kind of I don't like the shape how it's like so big on the back back portion of the car and it just dips down because of the lower hood those are okay i'm not a big fan of those but um i'm here at my store right now so that's pretty much all i want to tell you i'm at five percent off the new 2021 bmw's uh m3s already cars haven't even came out here's the information that you're gonna need if y'all want to hit them up now this is this is this website's called lease hacker if you've never heard of it please if you're not a serious buyer do not go on there and waste those people time because like they deal with like hundreds, hundreds of people all day, and they do a hundred of deals probably a day. Like, if you're not serious, don't go on there and waste their time. If you want to know numbers and stuff, they'll have the numbers when the car gets put on a dealer lot because they don't know the MSRPs and stuff like that. Obviously, you won't have any of that information until the cars hit the lot. But if you're serious about getting one and you want one, here's the pretty much the first best way to get it: five percent off on a lease. Best way to get it if you pretty much want to lease it. Um, so. Let me know if y'all gonna go with this uh, BMW M3, the new one. And I think they might be, I wanna say they would be doing the same thing for the M new M4s, but he hasn't posted the new M, he hasn't posted that deal for the M4s. It just says M3 right now. It's, again, here's the link. Uh, everything is in the description below. Hit the link, just scroll down. He does it for several states. Um, when you click the link, look at the top. Actually, I'll just post it right here in the video. He does it for like five or six different states. I think it's one of like New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, some other states like Maine or something like that. Just make sure y'all look through all of them and he'll let y'all know if he can do that deal with you. If you're out of state, just hit him up. Maybe he can do that deal out of state, who knows? Or he knows somebody in your state that can still get you that deal. Excuse me, it's all about networking, man. So if you wanna get that deal, just hit him up, let him know what you're looking for. He has really strict, uh, really strict uh, guidelines right right from the jump so that you don't you don't uh you don't be miss you don't get uh misinformation it's real strict guidelines right there right in the front on uh, right on the front page about that specific vehicle um he shows you other vehicles he has under that but i think it's bacon bacon of bmw or something like that is his name so hit him up check that link out let me know if that's something you're interested in i'm, I'm done with this video hopefully i like this enough information for y'all I'm kind of, I kind of wish I had the money to get the M3 as well, because now they're coming in two different models. They coming in uh, real wheel drive and all wheel drive, and then the base M3 is gonna come with the manual, but the M3 comp is coming with the automatic. So BMW kind of played that smart, where if you want to get an automatic, you got to spend more money. They kind, they smart with their marketing. Like I kind of caught that. Like you can only get the the base M3 in a manual. So the people who can't afford that extra, let's call it like four to eight thousand dollars for the comp package, right? You gotta spend that extra. You literally gotta spend that extra money if you don't know how to drive a manual. So you have no choice. Which is crazy because you I would have thought they would have gave people an option, but 
I think they going for the I think they going for the people who want to spend the more. They want people to spend more money because they want you to go into that automatic if you want. Obviously, it's faster, more horsepower, and uh, all wheel drive if you want that option because it's coming in two different versions. So, BMW smart man. But hopefully, I like this video, man. We out. I'm gonna see y'all in the next one. Drive safe. Stay safe out here. It's raining for me, so I'm driving pretty conservatively on it. I'm still hitting it a little bit, but y'all be safe. I'm gonna see y'all in the next video, man. We out, man. Peace.